What's going on, champs and champets? It's Fire Monkey here, and the V29.20 update is set to release tomorrow in Fortnite. So, in today's YouTube video, I want to give you a recap on all of the news going down, such so as things to expect with tomorrow's update, your first look at some Avatar The Last Airbender X Fortnite collaboration stuff, and even more. However, to actually get this done properly, we can't be sitting here looking at the lobby, so let me go ahead and show my official iFire Monkey Twitter account right here for you to view. We'll be kind of scrolling up from the bottom upwards to show all the information to you guys, but it's going to be a recap of everything we currently know regarding what to expect in this upcoming update. So firstly, there's been this weird situation going on with the quest reward variants and stuff that we've already mentioned before. As you can see by the screenshot, I've actually been granted all four of the cosmetics rewards because I already had week zero to three completed, and that is because they actually ended up fixing how it tracks and it properly gives you the variants as you unlock the challenges and do everything else. But because of this, they're also changing how they're doing the challenges going forwards. They mentioned that in the next game update, they'll be changing the page one quest rewards to track week 5 through week 6 instead of week 0 to week 3 like they originally planned. It seems like this was something that they didn't change last minute despite the fact they had it internally set up in a certain way where they plan to do this the whole entire time, but yeah, if you're someone who already has week 0 to week 3 completed, you should already have these variants granted to you, however, starting with the next game update, it will only track your week 5 to week 6 quests instead, so it's going to be a little bit interesting to see how they decided just to change this very last minute, and it'll be interesting to see how it actually affects the those like me who already are now have these rewards. But of course, that is just a slight change here, where the main bit of information comes from is this what to expect tweet, which actually includes more stuff than we originally thought. So even though we have this massive tweet right here, there's going to be more things to talk about. But firstly, for Rocket Racing, we'll be having the rank season one starting, which is apparently going to be leaked to be Neon Knights themed. Now in Rocket League, whenever we've had a Neon Knights event, it's always had like an actual artist like Grimes or whoever else being featured in it. So maybe we get a new icon skin to go along with this collaboration. But it is interesting to see how we are going be getting Neon Knights as the Season 1 theming. We'll also be getting more cars supported such as the Werewolf, and there's potentially the Bugatti that's actually going to be supported as it got the cross game tag, as you can see right here, in the most recent Rocket League update. So even if it's not in V29.20, we are set to see the Bugatti in the very, very near future. But of course, as we go back through all this information, we will have some extra Rocket League things to kind of mention in a moment here. You can see that they're also going to be tweaking the progression for ranked so that you're going to be able to either progress easier or a little bit harder. It really just kind of depends based on how the change is actually implemented. They haven't really, like, you know, publicly been like, hey, we're going to implement it in this way with that and that and that and that and that. They've just kind of said that, hey, we've listened to the user feedback and for season one, we're going to be changing how you actually level up in ranked mode and how you actually earn those new ranked rewards that'll be available in Rocket Racing season one. Now, instead of really jumping around to different topics, I want to stay on Rocket Racing right now and let's talk about some new things that have kind of been cited. Firstly, this is the new profile picture they have on social media. So this most likely is going to be the color theming you can see for season one once it actually releases in tomorrow's update with this whole entire neon lights type of thing going on here. Of course, the profile picture doesn't really mean too much, but it is still something to kind of keep in mind here. We also know that it appears that we've had this whole entire leak system going on regarding a death race game mode for Rocket Racing, and it appears we have the first set of leaks for this mode, as you can see based on the screenshot right here. It is set to work in a round-based elimination system where you actually start off with a certain amount of players and it won't progress to the next round until a certain amount of players have actually been eliminated. So for example, with this map right here, which I'm not going to mention because it's just kind of like a test map, you'll start with a total of 12 players, and then the match won't end until four of those players have been eliminated. Of course, if everyone makes it through, maybe they'll restart the lap and everything else, people will go again, until a total of four people have been eliminated, but it's basically round-based elimination type of system in order to end up getting a rocket racing death race victory, and it is interesting to see how they are kind of tracking it, and how they're starting to work on the death race game mode, which most likely will end up releasing sometime in season one of rocket racing but on top of that we have a lot of maps to kind of talk about here we have this set right here with descriptions meaning they'll most likely come in tomorrow's update and then we have some ones that are kind of being worked on behind the scenes including one which might be a collaboration so firstly we got slap happy with the codename of poseidon with the description of juice up and sprint into slap happy this high octane course is packed with action at every turn we got delirium aka phoenix which is rewire your brain and slip into delirium finally a map that will make sense to those living in the southern hemisphere we got conduit right here which is turn left into conduit. The circular circuit will have you spinning sideways. Tri City, which is codenamed Hydra, which says grab a map and get ready to navigate the twisting turns of Tri City. If you get lost, you'll ha at least have fun doing it. We have Jackrabbit, which is codenamed Kickflip, with a description of turn up your headlights and roll into Jackrabbit. You'll experience
experience all walks of life as you drift through dirt roads and speed through scenic cityscapes. So this kind of gives you an idea of what to expect when it comes to Season 1 of Rocket Racing. You'll have some Southern Hemisphere themed maps. You'll have kind of like this city scape type map right here. Even another like city themed map. And I wouldn't be surprised if they have like some neon lines or something going on here in order to make it all make sense. But on top of that we have some other maps they're working on such as Air Drive, Bronze 08, one called C Cave, one called Light Drive, one called Twister, and one called Mobius. Now we also have Galileo 001 and the reason why I wanted to save this to the end is because it uses the exact same code name as Star Wars and with the leaks and rumors that we're going to be getting a Mandalorian X, you know, Rocket League or Rocket Racing collaboration very soon, I wouldn't be surprised if we also got like a Rocket Racing themed map in the whole entire Star Wars universe in order to make this collaboration even more effective and even more unique. But yeah, when it comes to Rocket Racing, this is going to be the main focus of the new update, just kind of preparing everything for Season 1 and releasing it out to the open. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if we're going to get, like, a paid pass or if it's just going to be a Season 1 in terms of ranked and there isn't going to be anything else going on there. But who really knows? We really just kind of got to wait and see. Next up, we have to talk about Avatar The Last Airbender. We have even more to talk about than what's just right here, so I'll, of course I'll cut after I mention this bit and we'll kind of show the other things. But the event pass is set to take place on April 12th. However, we are going to be getting new shop cosmetics added tomorrow so you will be able to have some things to enjoy before that event pass actually go live. Now, the event pass is called Avatar Elements, so keep that in mind. Know the element codename we had leaked before does appear to still be used here, and we will be getting three new mythics being firebending, airbending, and earthbending, so that will be very interesting to see how they kind of affect the gameplay and how they actually end up working out once they're available for us to enjoy. Now, to add on to this, let's kind of go through all the other bits of information. Firstly, here's a little bit of like a teaser trailer for this whole entire collaboration. This is teasing the item shop portion of it and a little bit of the mythics we'll see on the 12th but you can see right here all the different skins and cosmetics you'll be able to obtain it just very quickly right you know it's very rapidly kind of showcases it you got Katara right there for example right here and then you got right here and of course in all three of these little clips you can see different elements such as you know earth bending right there you can see how it kind of like equips on your hand you have water bending right here and then you even have fire bending right there which looks to be some more of like close range combat with melee kicks and stuff so it'll be interesting to see how all these different elements actually go into play but also you have kind of like this little fist smash right there which could be related to another move set that you're able to actually do unless it's related to one of the emotes in this cosmetic set because according to the leaks we are going to be getting three outfits aka those three you just saw right there three pickaxes three back blings and one emote now the reason why each of the outfits cost 2000 v bucks is because the pickaxe and back bling related to each of the outfits will be bundled with the outfit themselves and won't be available separately so you can't just purchase the pickaxe on its own if you want a pickaxe of one of the characters you have to buy the entire character character as well and we don't know what this one emote in the item shop is going to be but that is something you'll be able to pick up separately I do believe and it will cost around 500 V bucks so that's something nice to see now of course you know this has been confirmed down here by Candy Wing who also mentioned that the reason why it costs 2000 is because of the pickaxe being bundled with the skins and each skin having a back bling but to kind of give you guys a little bit of a closer glimpse at all the stuff going on here you can see uh, some screen caps from that little trailer they give you a better glimpse on how the cell shading of the characters look you know how the detailing is for example right here even if we kind of like zoom in right you can't really tell it too often in that normal Twitter video but you can kind of see how the detailing is right there on the eye but that is something they've kind of got going on here so I'll quickly scroll through all of those so you can see them and of course you can see the mythic weapons as well you know all the different elements and stuff being used but where it gets interesting is this if we actually focus a little bit more on the background of what's going on here we can see a fire temple a kind of like water temple that i want to say or maybe it's like an air temple who really knows the type of temple that is i could just be wrong and dumb you guys could be flaming me in the comments right now but we have another one of the elemental temples and then we have an earth temple right here but it may be wondering why do we have temples what's the what's the point of it right well according to old leaks when the avatar of the last airbender bending mythics got leaked it was also leaked that each mythic would be obtainable through a themed chest and I feel that these temples are going to have the themed elemental chest inside of them. So if you go to a fire temple, you'll be able to guarantee yourself the fire bending mythic, right? If you go to a water temple, you can guarantee yourself water bending mythics, all that type of stuff. And I feel like that's one way to guarantee it and make it so even though these cosmetics are seen as rare in order to find them in game right now, such as water bending, you will be able to find them a lot easier if you go to these designated locations. And I wouldn't be surprised if one of the elemental quests for the actual event pass relates to going to these different temples. Now, of course, as I mentioned, the avatar 
Avatar Elements mid-season event pass will kick off April 12th at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, and it's unknown if crew members will be able to get this one for free. If no one's able to get it for free, it'll cost a thousand V-Bucks for everyone. However, Epic Games has been kind of experimenting and trying to figure out if they want to give these mid-season event activations to different people who have the crew entirely for free. So, you know, maybe this will be one of the first times they trial run that system to figure out if it's good or bad for the community. But of course, regardless of free or not, regardless of if it's a bonus with the crew or not, you will be able to purchase the mid-season event pass for 1,000 V-Bucks, and by doing all the quests, you'll be able to get an Oppa Glider, and for actually purchasing it, you'll be able to get an Aang skin entirely as a little bit of a bonus. Now, for some of the other things going on in Battle Royale, we have updates on the tactical AR that's going to be unvaulted. This will be a version of the tactical AR that actually supports weapon attachments. Epic Games will be changing the bonus quest reward weekly requirements, even though we already mentioned at the beginning that they've kind of changed how the grant works, and we will be seeing Aphrodite's snapshot quest. There could be more things such as, you know, new quests, for example, or new cosmetics, but those are kind of just the usual things you expect from every update nowadays. And Save the World is going to be having a bug fix, so whenever you recycle traps, it will now properly give you the correct amount of materials back. Before, there was a bug going on with this update where it was only giving, like, half or maybe less of the materials you actually spent back, so it is nice to see that Save the World is going to finally be fixing that, and then, of course, you have the usual stuff happening, like new encrypted files, new cosmetics, new LEGO variants, new quests, bug fixes, and more. But, of course, you may be wondering, Fire Monkey, you mention all this stuff for each of the modes, what's going on with Fortnite Festival? Currently, we don't really have any updates on anything happening to Fortnite Festival as of right now. We do know that they're still working on adding instrument support, so, you know, like, plastic instrument controllers and stuff like the Rift Master, and we know they're working on a ranked mode, which is set to have team versus team and solo battles, but we don't know when any of that stuff is coming on. Right now, the main thing for Fortnite Festival is just weekly song releases, you know, announced every Tuesday, released in the shop every Thursday, and new instruments here and there. So it's a little bit on the slower side, for Fortnite Festival, but I mean, even if we go in game right now and we go over to the festival category and click right here, you can see we basically are going to be getting a new season very, very soon. So seeing the fact that we're on week eight, I do believe if we go down here, I don't even have the weekly quest, but as you can see, we're on week eight. I wouldn't be surprised if the artist for season three gets added in this update or the update right after it, because we're already almost done with two entire festival seasons. But of course, with that said, hope you champs and champions enjoyed today's video. Hope it got you excited for everything going on in tomorrow's game update. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow with an upload on all the new cosmetics and all the glorious stuff going down with the game behind the scenes. So until next time, see you champs and champettes a little bit later. Peace out.